Okay, we're here at Prigmore. Um, let's see the streets. Um, it's mostly single family homes surrounding. And to the left, uh, there is a multifamily property in the back here. It's like actually maybe multiple multifamily homes. There's a lot to take in on this house, so I'm going to do it as quickly as I can. Um, just want to take a look at the HVAC unit real quick. Looks okay. Not brand new, but not bad. Seems to be a lot of moisture situations going on with this home. Um, both outside and inside. Um, this is the way in, so I'll just show you the interior. You've, you've kind of got mildew, which, you know, a good pressure wash. Probably a painting on the exterior would go a long way. Um, this side, though, has a lot of rot. Probably that whole deck needs to be evaluated. Um, so let's go in through the back this way. <clears throat> the place has kind of been, not gutted, but definitely torn out. Um, this is a huge, I don't know exactly what this is. There's some puddles of water in here. Something must be leaking. Um, little kind of wires hanging down. The kitchen's been gutted, except for these old ovens here. Um, yeah, this is the kitchen, totally ripped out. All right, everything is pretty grimy as well. You do have original hardwoods in here. Yeah, kind of okay shape. Um, the upstairs, all right, we'll just go up there real quick. Um, it is low ceilings. It's okay. It's not terrible. Uh, the windows are all pretty much shot in this house. Um, I mean, it's, it's good space. Probably only about six and a half foot ceilings, which I guess for a kid is not really a problem. I'm sure there's some more storage there. But that is kind of the one bedroom, I guess, what they're counting. Uh, yeah, there seems to be like a lot of places where there's old, like mold. It's probably old, but I don't know. And like the baseboards kind of like burned in some places. Very strange. There was a place as well where the ceiling is, oh yeah, in here. Looking pretty rough. Again, it may be just cosmetic, um, but something definitely has been going on. All right, um, bathroom. It's a full bathroom. Only bathroom on this level, or not the only one, um, in the main house. So this is a bedroom. Just to give you some bearings, it walks back into this big room whatever that room is sunroom whatever um through this door and if you wanted to divide this into to like two different units um the obvious thing would be this is a bedroom and then they have so coming from the original house have built on this portion and you've got a bathroom here I mean, pretty good sized bathroom with a laundry hookup and then I guess this is kind of has an entrance here. It's got a air conditioner at least. And then a big long room with a back door and it looks like they've kind of set it up for a kitchenette. Um, plumbing there and they've got a stove plug here and a back entrance um, and a window into the bathroom. So, um, yeah, you could, if you wanted, um, make this bedroom part of that and kind of make it a separate unit, um, and close up this door. But as I just discovered, 
There is also a whole downstairs space as well that seems to be semi-finished. Very, very creepy, but semi-finished. Uh, we can take a quick look at it. <clears throat> so that's the back door that we just saw. <clears throat> so the driveway, it's kind of the side. And underneath here, which I believe was parking, and could be converted back to parking, because uh, you could have two parking spaces down here. Okay, somebody was using it as a patio or something. Um, but you do have quite a bit of space down here. Ooh, very tight bathroom situation. But it does have a little shower stall. Um, a little kitchenette here. Again, I'm seeing lots of issues with mold. Oh, there's a staircase. I have no idea where that staircase goes to. Kind of a basement area, like bedroom. And then, super creepy, staircase to somewhere. I have no idea. And just like another, I guess, utility space. You do have some little windows in here. Hot water heater, oh, the electric panel over there. Um, yeah, the HVAC. But super duper creepy. <laughs> I guess it could be made better. Little tiny windows. Um, I don't know how close to grade those are, but um, you know, maybe seven foot ceilings, no, six and a half foot ceilings in here. But anyway, is additional space down here and two more potential parking spaces down here as well. Um, all right, I think that's the grand tour. Let's see the backyard as well. It's a decent back backyard, decent size. It's got a little carport. And yeah, it needs a good bit of work and some serious investment. The roof looks pretty shot. Um, but that is, that's the house.